Oh my god, there's spiders underneath there. Oh, there's one right there. This abandoned garden spider. There's another one here. Bolt jumper. Wow, you can bring home spiders. Oh, look at that. It reminds me of like a cross between a horseshoe crab and a spider and a little bit of a lobster if I'm being honest. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah. So most people think that horseshoe crabs are crabs or crustaceans, but they're not. They're actually more related to spiders and scorpions um, with the chelicerates. So. Try to spot the spider. Another animal that we use here for the Venom Lab. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna switch something here. I'm gonna switch this on and we'll see what happens. No, oh, it's not black anymore. So, I'm using ultraviolet light here, or black light, except that blue under this light. This is a very, uh, very special light. If I switch this off, you'll see the scorpion. Yeah, it is black. But under this light, it is blue or green.
uh, I'm using carbon dioxide, CO2, to slow it down and put it to sleep. That's good. That's, a, that's what we're supposed to see. So this tells me that we're heading in the right direction. The reason this is happening is because um, I'm pumping CO2 into this container. The scorpion senses that something has changed in its environment, right? In its, uh, in its immediate environment. So we're giving the scorpion a very low output electrical stimulation. And uh, I know what probably some of you are thinking. We're not electrocuting the scorpion. I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Or maybe I should just move the board. There we go. It's better. Up a little bit. So you can see the scorpion is not moving, which is good. Only the tail move. And the first step for me is just securing the scorpion to the board. I, right now it cannot move and that's great. But I really don't want to beat the range of those pincers when it wakes up. They have a nasty pinch and we try to avoid it. So there we go, these are secured. I'm gonna do the same with the tail. So I need more than just two pins, I need maybe six pins. This, maybe a couple more. Okay. I'm also trying, I'm gonna try and reposition these pins here. Now again, we have to be fast because this scorpion will wake up, so I just want to do my best um, and get the venom quickly as possible, as quickly as possible. So, so the segment right here, this bulbous segment there, this is the venom gland. This is all filled with venom. That's about the volume of venom that they have inside. It's all filled with venom. Um, I'm not saying that's what we're going to get at the end of the milking, but it's nice to know this is all, you know, it's all filled with venom. Uh, with the stinger, I don't think I need to point it out. I think you can see the stinger pretty well. It's really easy. But you can see a lot of hairs there too, right? They, those hairs are very, very important. They are sensory hairs. They give the scorpion a lot of information about what it is thinking. That's important. That's, and I'm going to put the stinger inside this. Hopefully you can still see it. That's a few attempts, but I'll do my best and hopefully, hopefully we'll get some back. And let's see what happens. Now I do have to work my way around here because you have to find the sweet spot on the venom gland. Um, <laughs> so I, I said that it takes a few attempts, that's what I meant. But that's what I want. Okay. So guys, um, me and Toki both grew up in the Philippines and I was just sharing to him how when I was a kid and he also shared that, he also did this, that we would catch spiders and then like as children we would like battle them out and see who would win and who would live. So it's our version of a cockfight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spider fight, and then yeah, cause like I don't know, my 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 street where I grew up didn't bet on them, but apparently Tokis did. We did, yeah. Yeah, not really ethical to think about it, but I think that's what happens when kids don't have toys. <laughs>